Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1506, Pope Julius II laid the first stone in the construction of the current St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City. In 1738, the Royal Academy of History is founded in Madrid, Spain. In 1775, Paul Revere makes his historic ride warning Boston area residents of an imminent attack by British troops. In 1783, George Washington issues a general order announcing the end of hostilities with Britain, giving thanks to the Almighty and authorizing an extra ration of alcohol to the troops for celebrations tonight. In 1831, the University of Alabama is founded. In 1861, Colonel Robert E. Lee turns down an offer to command Union armies in the U.S. Civil War. It was the wrong side for him. In 1868, the San Francisco Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals is created. In 1874, African explorer David Livingstone is buried in Westminster Abbey. In 1880, an F-4 tornado strikes Marshfield, Missouri, killing 99 people and injuring 100 more. In 1881, Billy the Kid escapes from the Lincoln County Jail in Mesilla, New Mexico. In 1902, Quetzaltenango, the second largest city of Guatemala, is destroyed by an earthquake. In 1906, San Francisco is mostly destroyed by a massive earthquake and 3,000 people are killed. In 1909, Joan of Arc is beatified in Rome. In 1912, the Cunard liner RMS Carpathia brings 705 survivors from the RMS Titanic to New York City. In 1923, Yankee Stadium, the house that Ruth built, opens today. Play ball! In 1924, Simon & Schuster publishes the first crossword puzzle book. In 1925, the World's Fair opens in Chicago. In 1930, BBC Radio announces that there is no news today. I have actually found that to be true often since I started putting these lists together. In 1934, the first Washateria ever opens in Fort Worth, Texas. We just call it a laundromat. In 1936, the Pan Am Clipper begins regular passenger flights from San Francisco to Honolulu. In 1942, in what became known as the Doolittle Raid, U.S. Lieutenant Colonel James H. Doolittle led 16 B-25 bombers on a spectacular surprise attack on Tokyo and other Japanese cities. In 1946, the International Court of Justice holds its inaugural meeting in The Hague, Netherlands. Now they get to work on holding Nazis accountable. Also in 1946, Jackie Robinson debuts as the second baseman for the Montreal Royals. In 1946 as well, three months after the UN begins operating, the League of Nations dissolves today. In 1949, Ireland becomes an independent republic. Well, at least most of Ireland does. In 1950, at baseball's first opening day night game, the Cards beat the Pirates 4-2. Also in 1950, the Yankees beat the Red Sox 15-10 after trailing 9-0 in the sixth inning. In 1953, Pal Joey closes at the Broadhurst Theater in New York City after 542 performances. In 1955, Albert Einstein passed away today. You know who he is. In 1956, Prince Rainier III of Monaco gets to marry actress Grace Kelly. In 1958, a United States federal court rules that poet Ezra Pound must be released from an insane asylum. In 1963, Dr. James Campbell performed the first human nerve transplant. I'm not sure how I feel about that. In 1966, Bill Russell takes over the Boston Celtics and becomes the first African-American coach in NBA history. In 1968, London Bridge is sold to a U.S. oil company and is later rebuilt in Arizona. Yep, the same London Bridge we used to sing about. In 1976, at the 30th Tony Awards, travesties and a chorus line win. In 1978, the U.S. Senate votes to turn Panama Canal over to Panama on December 31, 1999. In 1981, in the longest game in professional baseball, the minor league Pawtucket Red Sox tie the Rochester Red Wings 2-2 in 32 innings. 
The game is called at 4 a.m. and resumes on June 23rd. In 1983, a suicide bomber destroys the United States Embassy in Beirut, Lebanon, killing 63 people. Also in 1983, the Pulitzer Prize is awarded to Alice Walker for her novel, The Color Purple. In 1985, musical group Wham! became the first Western pop act to release an album in China. In 1988, the United States launches Operation Praying Mantis against Iranian naval forces in the largest naval battle since World War II. In 1990, the U.S. Supreme Court rules that states could make it a crime to possess or look at child pornography, even in one's home. Wow, that's a good rule. In 1991, the U.S. Census Bureau said it failed to count up to 63 million people in the 1990 census. In 1994, Beauty and the Beast opens at the Palace Theater in New York City. Also in 1994, Arsenio Hall announces he will end his show in May. In 1994 as well, former U.S. President Richard Nixon suffered a stroke and dies four days from now. In 1995, quarterback Joe Montana announces his retirement from football. In 1996, 106 civilians are killed when Israel Defense Forces shell the UN compound at Kwana, Lebanon, where more than 800 civilians had taken refuge. Also in 1996, the revival of musical comedy A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum, starring Nathan Lane, opens at the St. James Theater in New York City for 715 performances. In 1998, Tennessee quarterback Peyton Manning is the first pick by the Indianapolis Colts in the NFL Draft. In 1999, NHL great Wayne Gretzky skated his last professional game today. In 2002, Norwegian explorer Thor Heyerdahl passed away today. In 2007, a series of bombings occur in Baghdad, killing 198 people and injuring 251 more. In 2010, at the 45th Academy of Country Music Awards, Carrie Underwood, Brad Paisley, and Miranda Lambert win. In 2012, today, America's oldest teenager, Dick Clark, passed away. In 2013, 27 people are killed and 65 are injured in a cafe bombing in Baghdad, Iraq. Also in 2013, two Earth-like planets are discovered orbiting the star Kepler-62. I wonder if anyone is home. In 2013 as well, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees include Hart, Albert King, Randy Newman, Public Enemy, Rush, Donna Summer, Quincy Jones, and Lou Adler. And two years later, in 2015, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees included the Paul Butterfield Blues Band, Green Day, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, Lou Reed, Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble, Bill Withers, The Five Royals, and Ringo Starr. Again, Pete Best wonders why. In 2018, Black Panther is the first film shown at a commercial cinema in 35 years in Saudi Arabia as their cinemas are reopened. And lastly, in 2020, the French flagship aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle reports over 1,000 cases of COVID-19, which prompts an investigation into why and how. So thanks for watching today's episode. I truly appreciate it. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and I'll talk to you tomorrow.